crazy. Oh my gosh, you guys. I just made chicken bone broth in my Instant Pot with chicken feet. Look at this. Look how gelatinous this is. Chicken feet make the best bone broth because you will get tons of gelatin from the chicken feet. This stuff is so thick and gelatinous. I just can't believe how wonderful this turned out. It was really inexpensive and just super, super easy to make. You can make it in the Instant Pot or you can make it in your slow cooker or you can even put it on the stove. I'm gonna use the Instant Pot today, but I will leave the instructions for your slow cooker in the description box below. I have a six quart Instant Pot, so I am starting out with one pound of chicken feet. They have their skin removed and you can tell that because they're white. If the skin was still on these chicken feet, they would be a yellow color and you would need to remove that before you put that in the Instant Pot. And you can remove the skins by boiling them in water for about 10 minutes and then you'll have to peel and scrub that yellow skin off of the feet. So another note is you don't have to clip the nails off or do anything like that. Just make sure that they are clean. So after you have those in the pot, you're going to want to add some aromatics. I like to use carrots and celery and onions. And of course, just wash these and uh, cut them into large pieces and throw them in because we're going to strain those later anyway. Next, you're going to add a couple of bay leaves and also some salt and pepper. I used one teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of salt you can adjust that to your taste. I'm gonna salt mine after it cooks, after I taste it and see if it needs more salt. So then you're going to fill the Instant Pot up to that max fill line with water. In my case, I used about somewhere between 10 and 12 cups. So put the top on, always make sure that that, that seal is set in place really good before you put the top on and then you're going to cook this on high pressure for two hours now once it's done you want to strain out all of those solids so that you just have your bone broth now once you have the liquid all strained out it's going to be really thin because it's hot and you'll want to give it a taste and add more salt if you want to that's totally up to you and then you're going to decide how you're gonna store your bone broth. So I'm pouring mine into some mason jars and I'm gonna uh, put mine in my refrigerator. And after it sits in the fridge overnight or for a day or so, it's gonna gel up and it's gonna be this really thick, nice, gelatinous bone broth. And this is what you're looking for when you're making bone broth. That's where you get all of the benefits from it. So you can use this to cook with. You can use it like you would chicken stock. You can drink it. Um, let's see, how do you store it? I'm gonna store mine in my refrigerator and you can do that for about a week. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I plan on using it a lot this week. I'm gonna, um, I like to drink it like you would just a hot beverage. You guys, if you've never made bone broth before, you've got to give it a try. It's so easy and so much less expensive to do it yourself than to buy the, you know, brands from the store. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!